Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Tim Hortons video and I'll talk about how to use and utilize Tim Hortons viewers. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel to subscribe. If you're looking for more Tim Hortons videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So I did a Tim Hortons viewers video a few years ago and what happened uh, since then, Tim Hortons changed their viewers program so the older video doesn't actually mean anything anymore. And I wanted to look at the new viewers program and today I'm going to go over with you some of the basics and how to you know collect points and how to redeem points. So I have uh, my cards right here uh, where and uh, we have all the notes here. So the first thing, uh, let's talk about the basics. So the way Tim Horton Rewards works is that for every time you make a purchase, you're going to earn 10 points and it has to be a minimum of 50 cents. That's the lowest amount you can get points and uh, there's no maximum. So it doesn't matter that you are buying whether 50 cents or $500, still you're going to get 10 points within 30 minutes interval. So what that means is that, you know, if you are buying 10 times uh, within 30 minutes, you're still going to get 10 points. But if you pass 30 minutes, then you're going to get another 10 points. And uh, points expire every 12 months. So if you do not use them, they do expire. So just, you know, keep that in mind. And uh, there's a 20,000 maximum points you can accumulate. And then um, they have a feature that, you know, you have, uh, you get a free birthday gift and you have weekly deals, but all these have to be done via the app. So, you know, if you're going to the Tim Hortons or if you're, you know, uh, using Tim Hortons uh, reverse, then you have to have the Tim Hortons app on your mobile phone. So let's move on to the next, how to collect. So in order to collect Tim Horton points, you have to have the app on your phone. Uh, you may be able to use physical card, but it has to be linked to the account and you cannot, you know, uh, redeem uh, using physical card if it's not linked. So I do not recommend using a physical card and it's just, you know, more hassles to have a physical card and use them. And uh, whenever you're going to the Tim Hortons, in order to get the points, you have to scan your app, uh, you know, before you... Uh, put through your order so don't forget that so that's you know the basics of how you can collect now how to redeem so Tim Horton Tim Hortons has 13 uh, different levels of redemptions with four different categories and on the app actually the default is auto redemption once you have enough points so if you do not change that it's just going to you know uh, keep redeeming automatically then you have the option to change uh, your points to bank your points. What that means that you know you're going to be accumulating your points. It's not going to be auto redeemed. Uh, so you have to put that set that on your app. And seventy points is for a beverage, and which is the actually default. So if you do not do anything, the auto redemption default is each time you have seventy points, it's just going to you know uh, redeem automatically uh, from your app. And you can change in your app to have redeem other points but again uh, if you don't do that the default is stay at 20 uh, 70 points and there's a 20,000 limit to you know accumulate points which I mentioned before now just now let's look at what gives you the best value in terms of redeeming uh, Tim Horton points so 70 points for a beverage which would be a coffee or tea and this is a great value and with these items in general would give you better value hash brown specialty donuts baked goods tea coffee so these have you know better redemption options so what, what it means that you know you get more value for your points if you use to uh, use this to redeem your uh, points and if you use these then your value is not going to be a lot uh, so for example specialty drinks uh, which could be like you know uh, espresso coffee cappuccino or anything uh, like in a specialty and then soup and then we have uh, sandwiches donuts timbits so if you redeem for these then your you know redemption value your the value you're going to get out of per point is going to be lower than these so i always recommend to you know redeem for these especially hash brown gives you the most value out of your points and also tea and coffee they give you very good value
And I'm just going to go over, you know, the, I'm just going to go over the app very quickly. So when you open the app on your phone, uh, here you're going to see what's, you know, your offer. So you're going to see like, you know, what they have uh, on sale or what's at a discounted price. And then here, if you have any like, you know, special uh, points promotion, uh, like two times or three times the points, then you can get that. And then here you can see that, you know, there's another deal. So on this page, you can get like, you know, the deals they're offering you. And if you just, you know, scroll uh, or view all, then it's just going to show you all the deals you have. So whenever you're going to the Tim Hortons, definitely it is a good idea to check what deals you have. And then in order to scan the app, you have to click here, scan, and then it's going to give you like, you know, uh, barcode and then this is you're going to be giving to the uh, Tim Horton associate to scan for the uh, before you place the order so that way you get the rewards and then here you can see that you know my option is bank my points so what it means that you know if I buy anything it's not going to redeem anything I'm just going to keep uh, accumulating the points but if you want to change for redemption so to redeem points, you have to change from bank my points to the redemption uh, option and you are going to click on see more options. So if you click on it, then here you can see that there are four different categories, which I mentioned you before. So let's say you want to redeem for a cup of coffee, then you click on beverage and then you need 70 points. So if you have 70 points, then you just, you know, click here and then what happens now that if you scan this, uh, you know, before you place the order, then it's going to give you a free coffee. It's not going to give you, charge you anything. And then if you want uh, something else, then you just choose from the four different categories. For example, if you want something for lunch, then you're going to click on lunch. And here you're going to, you know, let's say get soup, sandwiches or wedges. So you just choose that. And then you just, you know, scan that before you uh, place your order. But what I do, I for now, I'm just banking them. I don't actually redeem anything. Uh, so I always have this, you know, to set uh, bank my points. And that's how, you know, I scan each time. And it just points uh, gets uh, points get accumulated. So that's the basics and how you use the Tim Hortons apps to collect and redeem points. Thank you for watching this video. There'll be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.